I just build a small game and edit some asset and don't feel like creating a full environment for it. So let's add some fog. For the first part we'll go to window rendering lightning to open the lightning window. Go to the environment settings and scroll down until you go to the other settings. Enable fog. That's it, thanks for watching this video, I'm just kidding. Let's change the settings a bit. The default mode, exponential squared, means that the fog will start at the camera's view and gradually increase. Exponentials are the same but in circle and not square. Change the intensity to make the fog closer to the camera. In linear mode you can set the gradient from full visibility to full fog to make the fog increase slowly between 10 to 30 or fast between 15 and 15. After we have everything on, let's change the color to make it fit our environment. The fog like this just blocks the player view and doesn't really look like actual fog. To create the fog particles, we'll use particle system. For this, we are obviously gonna create particle system object. The fog needs to look like it's moving from side to side and not from the bottom up. Change the object rotation to 0. Now we can set the shape to block with a scale of 15, 0 and 15. The particles look quite small, so let's change the star size to random between two constants 15 and 25. And fog doesn't really move that fast, so let's change the start speed to render between two constants, 1 and 2. But now the fog is really small. To counter it, change the lifetime to 10. To make it feel more like fog and less like particles, we're gonna make the particles appear and disappear gradually at the edges. Change the color over time gradient alpha's value and make them look like this. Now again, it doesn't look right right, so we need to counter it and change the size over lifetime to random between two curves and make it look like this. Remember, everything is about balance and making things look more natural. All that's left to do is change the color of the particles and the emission rate variable so we'll have enough particles but not too much. The fog is really small right now. We can scale it and change the emission accordingly to make it fit the whole level. Or we can put it on the character and every time the character moves the fog will move with it and we have fog on us the whole time. To make the fog be there and not slowly appear when we start the scene, enable respawn on the particle system. Now we can add back the lightning fog we did on the first part and now we have a fog that tells us block objects far away. But if we can can see things far away, there is really no need to render them. That is why you need to watch this video to optimize your game. See you there! Bye!